Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try long breathing to begin with, and if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Shorter breathing, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. This is one of the ways in which the mind can contribute to your environment. You make up your mind to breathe in a comfortable way and it will have a good impact back on the mind again. So hold to that intention. You're going to explore the breath. How does the breath feel in the body? When you breathe in, where do you feel it? When you breathe out, where do you feel it? Make sure it feels comfortable. And the fact that you decide to pay attention here is what's going to make a difference. Because of course the breath is coming in going out all the time. But it's what you add that's either going to be good or bad. So we're going to make it good. This is the attitude we should have to the world around us. The world has its ups and downs. Good things, bad things, good people, bad people, all kinds of situations. And if we let our goodness depend on the goodness of the world, it's going to go up and down too, which means we can't even depend on our own goodness. And yet what is this that's going to shape our lives? It's the things we choose to do and say and think. And if they're always good, then it's going to have a consistently good impact. There may be some bad karma coming in from the past, but if your present intentions are good, you don't have to suffer quite so much from the past bad karma. And you're just putting more good energy in. It's like this creek we have here at the front of the monastery. It runs all year round. It's one of the few year-round creeks or streams in, in San Diego County. And it comes from a spring that goes deep down into the ground. It's what they call primary water that doesn't depend on the rain. So when it rains, the water flows. When it doesn't rain, the water flows. Because the water comes from deeper than that. This is unlike a lot of creeks and streams and rivers that we see here in San Diego County. During the rainy season they run, and when the rains stop, then they stop too. So you have to ask yourself, which kind of stream do you want to be? You want to be the kind of stream that runs all year, in other words, that has goodness coming out of you all year round? If so, you have to go deep inside. Because after all, the, what the, you do is going to come back at you, so you want to have good things all the time. So you do good things as consistently as you can, and that will change the balance in the world outside. So have confidence that you can have goodness that comes from within. You don't have to depend on other people being nice to you. You don't have to depend on things being nice outside. You can choose to do what is skillful, say what is skillful, think what is skillful. And the more you build on this consistent source of goodness inside, that you can develop through the meditation. The better you'll be, of course, the better your environment will be. The fact that we have this stream flowing through here, and this is what enables us to have trees down by the stream. So the spring just keeps on giving and giving, and the environment around it gets better. So if you can give goodness to others, in other words, be generous, observe the precepts, and think thoughts of goodwill, wishing for their happiness, hoping that they might understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. And you'll be happy to contribute to that in whatever way you can. Of course, that reflects back on you too. You have to understand the causes for happiness and be willing and able to act on them if you have goodwill for yourself. So try to have consistent goodwill for yourself. The Buddha asks us to be consistently good. Sometimes it seems as if he's more concerned about our happiness than we are, because he wants to make sure that our happiness is solid and strong and harmless and consistent. And so we take his advice, we'll try to be as consistent in our goodness as we can, like the stream that runs all year. You can always rely on it. The people around you can rely on you, you can rely on yourself. And the reliable people is, people are things that we need more of in the world. So we can't tell other people to be reliable, but we can make sure that we're reliable. That way our happiness becomes solid.